Hello and welcome back to Abundantly Minimal. My name is Sarah and in today's video I have 10 different things that you can consider decluttering this spring. Now that spring is upon us, it can be a very exciting time and help us take a fresh look at our spaces now that winter is over and we can have sort of a spring cleaning mindset as we go through some of our old belongings. And I'm hoping today that after this video, you'll find at least a few different things to let go of. Let's jump right in. First thing to look for, any broken electronics or old electronic waste, such as old phones, other electronic devices you're no longer using, maybe some small appliances that broke but can't be disposed of regularly in the garbage. This is a perfect time to do it because many communities and organizations do special Earth Day programs in April to help collect these items or any other hazardous materials. And while e-waste can be a little confusing at first and you have to look into options, you'll feel so liberated to let go of, you know, all these different past phones you've had or other devices that truly have served no purpose that have become obsolete or are broken. Now is the time. Likewise, if you have any leftovers from different home projects or renovation projects, I know this is very much on my mind right now as we're getting one of our bathrooms renovated and unfortunately there's a lot of waste that goes along the renovation process but if you've been saving you know random scraps of certain old paints or leftover items that realistically won't be used in a future project that you're doing maybe consider letting go of those likewise you might have certain products that were from a home project and you could keep using them but at this point it's been so long they have deteriorated in quality or may no longer be useful for whatever project and with some of these you can also often take them to different hazardous waste collections because they might not be items that should be disposed of regularly moving into the kitchen i think with the new clarity that comes with spring let's get rid of those cookbooks that are fantasy self cookbooks if you don't personally actually see yourself cooking with a cookbook, why are you still keeping it? Usually cookbooks are focused on a specific type of eating or a certain way about preparing food. And if that no longer fits with your lifestyle or your goals, or you just didn't use it, let's clear that out to make room for the cookbooks that you actually love using or whatever system works for you. Maybe it's more so digital recipes or eBooks or that sort of thing. Another great option to declutter from the kitchen has to do with any extra food storage containers. Not all food storage containers are created equal. Some are much higher quality than others. Some might work better for your needs than others. And some may have seen better days and might be a little bit on the broken side or somewhat damaged. Let's clean house and take care of any of the ones that are no longer in optimal quality. As you go through these, you can also focus on improving organization and storage of them so they're all easy to access when you need them. Now that it's spring, it's also been a few months since the holiday season. And during that time, you might've been gifted some different lotions or gift sets of different personal care products that you might not have ended up using, or maybe you tried using them and they were not effective for you. At this point, you know, you've tried it out for a few months, you've had them for a few months, if they are not working for you, they are not going to gain any more value if you hold on to them for a long period of time. Now, if these products are unopened and unused, I recommend donating them. And especially if you have a women's center in your area, that would be an amazing place to donate these different personal care products. But you can focus on doing that if you have some partially used ones that you can re-gift to someone else who might actually get more value than yourself, you can consider that. Maybe you can use up the product in alternative ways. And in some cases, maybe disposing of it is the best approach. But with that in mind, I just encourage you not to put this off and let them sit around your medicine cabinet or wherever you're storing these personal care products, you know, all year or longer, because we have to remember many of these different products do have expiration dates. A lot of them will say, you know, 12 months or another similar timeline on the back of the product. They're not truly good forever. So we want to make a more informed decision earlier on. So there's more potential value for others. While we're talking about personal care products, this is the perfect time to share some information about today's sponsor native. Now I personally have been using and loving native deodorant for well over a year now, every day. And I find it to be the most effective deodorant that I've personally used. And there's so much other good stuff about it that I love. 
One of my favorite parts about this deodorant is that it's available in plastic-free packaging made out of paperboard instead of plastic, which makes it a great alternative if you're trying to live a greener or more zero-waste lifestyle. It's got a great texture that goes on smooth without being sticky or wet. And I am always stunned even after a day of being out and about or exercising. At the end of the day, I still smell great, which I cannot say is the same for some of the other deodorants I used in the past. They have so many great scents, including a few new ones for spring, including lilac and white tea and tangerine and citrus blossom. And I haven't had a chance to try those yet, but my absolute favorite is the cucumber and mint. And I also really like the coconut vanilla. When it comes to ingredients, Native is aluminum free, paraben free, and sulfate free. And they feature familiar ingredients such as coconut oil and shea butter. They are also vegan and cruelty free, and there's free shipping to the US. Normally three plastic free deodorants would cost $39, but I'm very grateful that Native is offering a discount to my viewers. You can get 25% off or three plastic free deodorants for $29 if you use my link in code MINIMAL3. The information for that is in the description field of this video. Getting back into our decluttering ideas, this is a great chance to let go of any clothing that you didn't wear during the winter. I love going through clothing after each season because you just went through that season, you'll know exactly what you did wear and what you didn't. If you have clothing you didn't wear at all this past winter, ask yourself why? What was the reason for that? And while there could be perfectly justifiable reasons, there also might not be a clear reason and it might not be worth holding on to those clothes for a whole nother year until next winter begins again. So this is a great chance to go through and just lighten up and freshen up that wardrobe. It's also a great time to look over any extra exercise equipment that you maybe aren't using. As the temperatures warm up, many will choose to take their fitness outside, but before doing that, what types of exercise equipment or workout materials do you have that aren't actually getting use? By this point, we probably have a good understanding of what we have and what we use. So if there is something you haven't used, either challenge yourself to put it to the test, try using it this week and see what you think, or just let it go right away. A lot of times our fantasy selves think that we need certain fitness equipment, but then our real selves don't actually want to do it and take action. So put it to the test or let it go. To continue with this idea of a fresh start or a clean slate, this is also a great time to examine different decorations you have that maybe are feeling a bit outdated or tired or not really pertaining to your style anymore. While I'm not much of a decorator myself, I definitely understand that style changes over time. And just because you have something doesn't mean that the default is to display it and continue using it. We can continue to ask ourselves the tough questions and really reflect about the true value that every item provides. And maybe it's time to move on from a certain item. You can also use this as an opportunity to examine past holiday items and determine whether you actually use them or not. Maybe you've got certain decorations that you honestly haven't used in a long time and probably won't use again. If this is the case, why not let them go right away? A really quick decluttering project that most of us can probably take care of is our everyday carry. And this could be your wallet, it could be your purse, whatever you're bringing to and from with you. And this is a great spot to tackle on a regular basis because sometimes clutter can accumulate there, whether it's receipts, maybe garbage, or just random items that you picked up but never took care of. Maybe there were old masks or other related items. It can be important to just make sure we're keeping things pared down and not have a very cluttered purse or wallet or any other type of everyday carry just because of neglect. So I encourage you either pause the video right now or maybe get your purse or wallet out and start going through things right away or right after this video so that you are able to just have that clean slate, fresh start. I love it when people can take action on these things right away and start to live better immediately. Lastly, if digital clutter is a problem for anyone, why not take some time and declutter your desktop? Just like we want to clear out our physical space, our digital environment also should be cleaned out regularly. And I'm notorious for having way too much digital clutter built up on a regular basis. So take the time, often you might just need a few minutes, but go through anything on your desktop so you can have that peace of mind 
some clarity there and have a good setup for yourself. One of the tips I do recommend if you struggle with desktop clutter is to have a temporary folder on your desktop where you put things that you're only going to need for a short time and then go through and empty that folder out or delete it regularly so that it keeps things clear and you don't have hundreds or even thousands of files building up that you don't really need. Thank you for joining me for today's video about 10 things to declutter this March or this spring. But if you want some more decluttering ideas, you also might like some of these videos here. And if you're new to the channel and want to learn more about how to live your best life with less, go ahead and subscribe right up here. I'll see you next time. Bye.